Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So over here, I have an Android device running. And of course, this is powered up by Android Studio. Okay, so it does not matter whichever mobile device you're running. So over here, we have the Android running and I can open this up. So we can look at the applications that we have. And of course, we have DVAR, we have four goats. And of course, these are the mobile applications that we will be doing our penetration testing on as part of our series. So of course, in the future, we'll be going through a lot more different kind of security assessment, penetration testing directly on the mobile application. So moving forward, what we can see is I can click onto DVAR and I can also open up Magnifier so it is easier for you to see. So once I open up Magnifier, I can actually see more carefully. So DVAR, it is an insecure, vulnerable application that we can do a penetration testing on. So of course, in today's case, we'll be looking primarily on the access control issues. All right, so we have went through the insecure data storage, we have went through the input validation issues, and we're gonna look at the access control issues. So go ahead and click on access control issues part one. So once I click on it, so over here we can read the objective. So I'll read it out for you. You're able to access the API credentials when you click the button. Now try to access the API credentials from outside the application. Okay, so what happened is that components of applications can be invoked. And of course, from the tutorial title, we can invoke that from Android debug breach. So we do have a full tutorial on that. So do check that video out as part of this channel. So once you click on it, view api credentials so we can immediately see more details about the api credentials all right so we can see those data immediately so what i'll do next is i'll open up command prompt okay so we got command prompt running and i'll put it onto the right side for you and on the android emulator i'll put it onto the left side for you so what i'll do next is i'll go ahead and enter adb logcat so this would actually start looking at all those lock status messages regarding the android device so in our case when i click under view api credentials and i click back so i can actually stop the adb lock cat and i can screw up a little more okay so we can look at the locks that have been created when i invoked it or when i click onto the view api credentials okay so as I scroll up a little more, trying to find out specifically what was being called. So over here, we can see we have the activity manager. All right. And it says start u0 act jacura sim dvar action dot view underscore crats cmp jacura dot sim dvar slash dot api crats activity. OK, and this was from UID 10067. Okay, so from here, what we can do is we can try to invoke the API credentials directly from ADB. Okay, so we may not have control of what the user is clicking. However, based on what the user click, we can trigger certain activities to be started to invoke all these different classes. So when we were looking at the reverse engineering of mobile application, we saw the different classes inside a mobile app and we can trigger them based on their naming okay so over here going back into the command prompt all you got to do is enter for example you can enter adb shell am start dash n and all you got to do is copy exactly what you saw earlier from the activity lock okay so you got to put dash n followed by jock her a seam dot dvar slash dot api crats activity so go ahead and hit enter on that and immediately on the left side of the mobile device, we can see that we managed to invoke the activity from ADB. All right, so once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.